I lost over $60,000 buying my first property because I didn't know what to look for. I want to take the lessons that I learned and give them to you, so hopefully you don't have to spend as much as me. First, I didn't properly evaluate small repairs. My home had issues with fixing a garage door, a deck, caulking, some small things in the bathroom, a disposal. I overlooked all these small things, and that ended up costing about $5,000 out of handyman, and people come in to fix different things. It took a lot of time and effort, and cash. The second thing that I didn't know is to check every part of the AC and HVAC system. When I did the inspection, they said, everything's good. What I didn't know to ask is that the AC and the HVAC unit were both 22 years old. I ended up spending 12,000 on the AC unit and 15,000 on the HVAC unit because I had to add zonal heating and a few other things that came up that made it be more expensive. The exact same thing happened with the water heater. It was old, it broke, a tenant tried to tinker it to fix it, ended up breaking it. So I got the joy of finding a plumber and spending $3,000 on a new water heater and installation so they could have hot water. Then there's the roof. It's 22 years old and it passed inspection, but I found out after purchasing the house that it's gonna need replaced in the next three to five years, which will run me about $15,000. I also need to fence my yard as part of the HOA, which is gonna cost about $8,000. Then I spent about $3,000 for dirt and rocks to go all over the yard. Let's go through the costs. $5,000 in general repairs, $3,000 water heater, 15K roof, 12K AC unit, 15K HVAC, 3K in yard supplies, 8K in offense. Now that you know why it was so expensive, here's all the lessons that I learned. First, if you're doing rental properties, you wanna have one appliance for every single unit. What I mean by this is if you have one home and one AC unit that goes to two or three units, your tenants are gonna fight and bicker about the hot water, about what temperature it is. It's gonna be a big mess. You don't wanna deal with it. Ask lots of questions. When they're doing the inspection, ask about every single thing possible. The water heater, the dishwasher, what happens if this leaks? How do I repair this? What about the roof? What about these appliances? Anything you're not sure about, ask questions and learn about because otherwise it's gonna just cost you money. Location, there is a city center and way far south is the house that I got. I was thinking, eh, not that bad of a drive. Wrong. So many people would get there to look at the house, say, eh, this is further than I thought, not interested. You can fix almost anything in a house. You cannot fix the location. Make sure it's what you want. Another lesson was long-term outlooks. This house is near mountains, which is good, but it also means there's not gonna be much more development or growth around that area. Not necessarily a good or bad thing, but you should be aware. And finally, the last lesson that I learned is about taxes. Every year, I can reduce my income for tax purposes by taking the depreciation of the home over 27.5 years. Not life-changing, but good to know. I hope these lessons helped, so when you're finding your home or rental property that you know what to look for and you don't have to spend as much as I do. You're awesome. See ya.